let me know that you're here by commenting. This is my first uh, Facebook Live video, so I'm still kind of experimenting with it. Um, but today we are doing the Daisy Outdoor Art Maker badge. So I'll give everybody a few minutes to kind of filter in and then we'll get started. If you're just coming in, go ahead and write in the comments um, what you love most about nature because our activity today is going to be nature based. Some people come in. Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Katie. I'm with Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline Council. I'm one of the program coordinators. Hi! Sorry, my, my phone is horizontal, so I'm having to tilt my head. <laughs> What's going on with my face here? There we go. Sorry, I was experimenting with filters earlier. There we go. Okay. Hi! Christy! This is going to be really fun. Hi, everyone. Yay. Okay, awesome. So I'll give you guys a few minutes. We'll get started um, right at 10. I just wanted to log on and let you guys know that I was here. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Good morning! Hi Patricia! Coming to you live from my home office. If you're here, just um, write a little hello in the comments so I know that you're here. Losing people, where are you guys going? Well kind of stabilized, so maybe I'll go ahead and get started. Are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. <laughs> Great, okay, one person's ready. I'm going to go ahead and get started, and for the people that um, come in, I will kind of circle back and explain what I'm doing as I go along. Um, today we are doing the Daisy Outdoor Art Maker Badge, and we're going to fulfill all three steps. Um, I was going to do this program outside, and I encourage you to do the same, but it's a little windy where I am, so I moved inside. Um, but we're going to be doing smash painting today with items that you collect from nature. Um, so step one of the Daisy Outdoor Art Maker Badge is to see the colors of nature which I have done through the items that I've collected. I'll flip my camera around once I'm done explaining all the steps. Um, step two, hear the sounds of nature. I have my window open so I can hear the birds chirping as I create. Um, and step three is to share your outdoor art. So I'll be doing that um, once I'm finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see, flip my camera around and show you what I got. So, 
What you want to do is you want to collect as many colorful things as you can in nature. So I got my purple flowers, I got my yellow, I got some dark burgundy and red. I got um, light pink and I got a really pre uh, pretty hot pink rose. I got my green leaves and I got some red berries, which I think are going to be um, really awesome for this, for this activity. So let's go ahead and get started. Get all set up. Okay. Okay. So um, in addition to the items that you'll need that you um, collected from nature, you need a rag because this is probably going to get messy. Um, you need watercolor or um, cardstock paper, which I have here. And you need a spray bottle filled with water, which is going to um, help um, you spread the items that you're smashing. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use my hands to extract the colors um, of the different items that I've collected. And then when I'm done, I'll do one using my feet, which is going to be really fun. So I'm going to tilt you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. And if you have any questions as I go along, just um, put it in the chat. I think that's good. Can you guys see that okay? Let me see. It's a little tricky. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if I'm making it better or worse. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one. Okay, so I would love to hear what you guys think um, is gonna work best. I'm a little skeptical because um, some of these are gonna you know, some of these items are a little bit more juicier than others, so I'm interested to see which items actually work. Um, so step number one, you got your paper ready, is you're going to take your squirt bottle and you're just going to wet your paper. And like I said before, that's going to help um, the items that you're squishing, that's going to help the color stick to your paper. You might want to kind of just dab it and spread that water around. Okay, so I'm going to start with this really pretty... I don't know what it is, red flower that I got off a tree. And I'm just gonna smash it and see what I can get out of it. See that? Pretty cool. That is awesome. Okay, so I've ruined that flower. Let me get another one. For you guys that are just coming in, we are doing smash painting with items out of nature. So I'm just using the materials that I found on my little walk this morning, and I am um, taking them apart. I've, I've got my watercolor paper, my paper um, sprayed with water, and I'm just kind of squishing everything I found and seeing what colors can come out. That is awesome. Okay, so we know that that flower works. Let's try a different one. I want to see what this yellow dandelion can do. Oh, nice. So you can kind of rub like I'm doing. Let me get another one. You can smash it with your palm. as well as the dandelion, but it's a little bit brighter of a yellow. Cool. Okay, what else? Let's try green. Mm. Oh, I dropped you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I was rubbing too hard. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, here we go. So the green doesn't want to work. I tried to get an oily leaf but no such luck. Be careful whatever you guys grab at home that it's nothing that's gonna give you a rash. Don't grab the poison ivy or poison oak. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so the, that green leaf doesn't work. Let me try this big one. That works. There we go. Awesome. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, got 
some purple over here. Pretty cool. It's interesting how the burgundy flower dried more purple. I don't know if you guys noticed that. When I first put it on the paper, it was more of a reddish, reddish color. All right, I got some pinks. Let's try our pinks. Oh, let's put that down here. so good. It's such a pretty color. Love it. Definitely important to use the thicker paper because I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm kind of scraping off the paper as I'm rubbing so make sure when you do this to use either cardstock or um, watercolor paper. The dandelions are awesome. That color is so bright. I'm interested to see too what you guys have in your backyard and the things that you can find because I know that we'll all have different things. So it'll be cool to see what everybody's picture looks like based on what they collect. All right, I need some green. Can you guys tell what I'm making on my picture? Hi, Barbara. Beautiful boating, Bar Barbara. How are you? For those that are just filtering in, we're doing um, nature smash paintings for the Daisy Art Maker badge. So I'm using all my, my leaves that I've collected and my flowers. And I'm just kind of smashing things down and extracting all the color. It's pretty fun. Oops. Oh, no. See, I just scraped off a piece of my page. Okay, let's put some more color over it. All right. What else can I do? Okay, so I've been saving... My pink rose for last because I really think this color is going to be great. Let's see. Put that up here. Right, I'm going to do one petal at a time. Oh, so pretty! I knew it. So interesting how it goes on so vibrant and then it kind of darkens. You can almost watch it turn. Water's 
You could probably write your name. I shall save some room, let me see. Nope, it's too wet up there. Okay. Ah, watch your nails. <laughs> your nails will scrape your color off. So definitely the cooler colors work really well for this experiment. Your purples and your blues, dark reds. Oops, okay. Keep going. Even out this green up here. my flower a little bit. These rose petals fall apart so quickly. Let's see. Okay. I wish I had an orange, that would look so good around the yellow. Careful not to use too much water because I'm finding that even though this is watercolor paper, it is not holding up due to all the scrubbing. That's okay. Add some texture. you like it? Having a ball over here. All right, I think that's about all this page can handle. Let's see. Voila! Pretty cool. Okay, so that was really fun, but now the fun part comes, the really fun part. Um, I'm going to flip you guys around, and I'm going to do this with my feet. So I've got some items set up on the floor, and I'm going to get to smashing. So for this, you'll need a towel to wipe your feet when you're done. I've got these berries. I've got my paper. Let me grab my scarf bottle. All right. Let's do this. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to find out together. Oh, it's awesome! Oh my gosh, this is 
so cool. Okay, let me get some more. I'm glad I got a lot of these. Kind of like making wine. Okay. Clear some space. Jeez boys. I need some more color. Let's see. Let's get my yellows. Oh, I think I tore my paper. No. It's okay. Ah, I definitely did. gonna do a new piece of paper in just a second. I'm gonna try this one without water and see what the difference is. Okay, I can get some more out of these yellows. I think I think it might be better without the water, you guys. I mean, a little bit of water is all right, I guess, but. just on there. So my red berries didn't have as much red as I thought. I think my favorite is the dandelions. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's compare. This is the one I did with my hands. This is my first attempt at smashing with the feet, kind of a mess. And this is the one I just did. What do you guys think? Pretty neat, huh? Okay, flip you guys around. All right, well that's my activity for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to see some pics of your uh, final project. Let me know what you thought. I will see you guys this afternoon. Bye.